Hello everybody, in this video I'll be uh, answering a problem that my friend has been going through. Um, I'm gonna, it's basically, this is a, basically replying to him um, by making this video. And not only will I help him, but I'll help you guys as well. So, the, the question says, show that the gravitational full strength of the Earth, a height h above the surface is given by gravitational full strength a hat a height h above the surface equals to gravitational full strength at the surface multiplied by the radius of our radius plus h bracket squared okay the first step is going to be to define gravitational full strength okay the second step will be to find a general equation for gravitational field strength. And the third step will then will be to show this equation, exp expression. Okay. So gravitational field strength at a point is the force per unit mass exerted on a mass place at that point. In other words, gravitational field strength is the force experienced by a mass of 1 kg in, the, in that gravitational field. Okay, so that's the first step done. Now let's, let's, first step done. Now, let's find a general equation for gravitational field strength. So gravitational field strength is force per unit mass. Okay. This force is a gravitational force. And what we know about gravitational force is that f f gravitational force is equal to um, the, univer the, the constant of proportionality multiplied by the big mass, and that's multiplied by small mass over r squared. So let's substitute this into here and see what, what we get. These two cancel out, and so we get constant proportionality times by the big mass over r squared. And so that's the general equation for gravitational field strength. Now let's go on to do the third step. If I pull the camera a bit down, yeah, I've got good space there. Okay. So, here's the Earth. Here's the Earth. And we want to find the gravitational field strength at a height above the surface. So we want to find it here. We can't just... It will be wrong. I think many people will do this. It will be... Uh, many people will just... Um, will think that they should just... Um, the distance is H. So R is equal to H. That's wrong. R is a distance that starts from the center of the object. Okay, it's from the center of the object. So, if you want to, for example, find the gravitational force between two objects, let me use the. So, let's say here's a big, here's a small object, and here's a big object. The distance will be from the center of one object to the center of the other. Okay, so bear that in mind. Many people doesn't actually, you know, m many people miss out on that. They don't realize that. So, what would R equal to? What would the gravitational field strength at height above the surface will be? 
well, if it's from the center, and then it goes to the goes to the surface. That's the radius, isn't it? From the surface, from the center to the surface, is the radius, right? Let me write it more neatly. And then above the surface is a height h. Okay. So R is equal to R plus the capital R plus H. Okay. So now let's substitute this into the here. Let's do it here. Okay. So we substitute and we get R plus H. Okay, so that's the gravitation field strength at height h above the surface. Let's now find find. Um, okay, in in this expression, we can see that they have the gravitational field strength at the surface. Okay, so let's find that. What is the gravitational field strength at the surface? Well, it's gm over radius squared, right? That's the earth. So the gravitational field strength at the surface is here, and the distance between is the radius, yeah? So what we need to do is get this, get this, and we need to basically put it into this equation, right? But how do we do that? What is not there, what is, what is, no, what is here and not there? Well, there's GM here, and there's no GM here. There isn't any GM here. There's GS there, but there isn't GS here. So that means there has to be some substitution going on. Right? We can just then substitute this into here. And we get G equals to GS R squared over R plus H. Squared. And then we can simplify that, make it look better. Oops. Can I write that neatly? There's something wrong with my handwriting today. There you go. And that's the same expression as the, as at the top. Okay, I hope this is this helped, my friend. I'll, I tried my best to explain, and I hope it helped everyone else who watches this video. Uh, yeah, I'm a student myself. I'm trying to improve myself in teaching and understanding in physics. Um, if there is a mistake, please do tell me so I can maybe do the maybe redo the video or maybe put a little text on the video of where I made a mistake. But um, anyway, thank you and uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the upcoming videos.